The impressive Blue Mosque of Istanbul has finally returned to its glory days after having been in restoration for five years. Do you want to see how it looks and all the updates to be able to visit it on your next trip? Well, let's discover them in this video. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque is located where once the great palace of the Byzantine Empire once stood. And Sultan Ahmed Mosque is also facing Hagia Sophia. This beautiful mosque was commissioned by Sultan Ahmed I and it was built between 1609 and 1613. The architect who designed this beautiful place was Sedefkar Mehmed A, who was a student of the famous imperial architect Sinan, known in Turkish as Mimar Sinan. So I still remember when, when the restoration work started back in 2018, so many people didn't have the opportunity to visit the beautiful place. But finally, all the restoration works have finished, its interior is fully open, and finally you can come and visit it. So if back then you didn't have a chance to visit it, now is the perfect opportunity to come and visit it once again. Let's remember that to enter this and any other mosque, we have to take off our shoes. And for that, we recommend that you bring a plastic bag with you to put your shoes. It is much more practical and trust me, confusion with other footwear will be avoided. Sultan Ahmed Mosque was built with the intentions of surpassing Hagia Sophia, which let's remember that back in the time it was the most important mosque. In fact, it was considered the imperial mosque after, after the conquest of Constantinople. Also one of the features that really impresses me of this mosque is its huge dome. And its central dome is 23.5 meters in diameter and 43 meters height. So this dome will immediately catch your eyes. Another feature that most visitors also get impressed with are the beautiful tiles and ceramic adorning the interior of these specific mosques. The designs of these tiles, it can vary from flowers to leaves, fruits, cypresses, but its predominant color is blue. That is why also this Sultan Ahmed Mosque is known uh, among tourists and people as the Blue Mosque. And just as in many other mosques, like for example, Soleimania Mosque, here in the main chandelier of the mosque, we can also find ostrich eggs. These are useful to repel spiders and also some other insects. Now let's go to the section of the most asked questions about what is it like to visit the mosque, the entrance fees, uh, the dress code, and so on. So let's start with the most important topic, which is the entrance fee. Is there any fee to visit the mosque? That is no. As any other mosque in, in, in the whole country, you don't have to pay a fee to visit them. So that means you can visit it for free. Now, what about the dress code? Well, the dress code, as in any other mosque in the country, when it comes to women, we have to fully cover our head and also our arms and legs. As you can see me right now, I'm wearing uh, this pashmina, this hijab. So I highly recommend you as women to bring one on your own. But anyways, you can find some that they can allow you here outside the mosque. But still, I will highly suggest you to bring your own because trust me, this place is very, very visited by tourists. It's one of the main places and the main attractions. So during peak hours, it is very crowded. There are huge lines. So if you still need to get something like this, you are going to need to wait in line. So better bring your own. And at what time and what days you can visit the mosque? Well, the only thing you need to keep in mind is the praying times. Remember that during the day there are five prayers, but every day it changes, it's different. So I highly suggest you to go on Google and type at what time are the prayers for that day. So during that time, usually mosques are close to visitors. Also keep in mind that during the Friday prayers, the mosque opens after 2.30. That means after the main prayer. So also if you're planning on visiting the mosque on a Friday, you need to keep this timing in mind.
The Sultan Ahmed Mosque is a complex which also included a madrasa, soup kitchen, shelter for the poor, a hospital, school, and shops. There is another very interesting place that we would like to show you as well after you visit the Blue Mosque. And these are the mausoleums where Qasem Sultan, Sultan Ahmed I, and Murad IV, and some other sultans of the time are buried. So this is just outside the complex, so we're gonna show it right now as well. This is the mausoleum where we can visit the tombs of Sultan Ahmed I, Qasem Sultan, and their family. Sultan Ahmed was the 14th Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. He was the first sultan to be enthroned before he had been circumcised, also the first sultan not to have previously been a governor, and he was also the first sultan to be enthroned as a bachelor, and with no children. That is why during his period the Ottoman tradition of fratricide was broken. That means executing his own brothers to avoid any rebellion against him. During his reign, the Ottomans renewed trade agreements with France, Venice, and England, and also established relations with the Dutch Republic. He also commissioned the construction of Sultan Ahmed Mosque, and the Kaaba underwent through repair under his reign. Qasem Sultan became one of the most powerful figures in history of the Ottoman Empire. As the regent of three sultans, she effectively influenced them to control important affairs. In this same mausoleum, we can also see the tomb of Sultan Osman II, Sultan Murad IV, Sultan Ibrahim, and the children of these sultans. So now that you already know that the Blue Mosque is once again open to public, this is the opportunity for you to come back to Istanbul and visit the Blue Mosque. If you enjoyed the video and liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.